Do you want to go from this to this in CS2? Well, you are at the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you the best settings to boost your FPS and the best Windows settings that will make your game feel better than ever. So make sure to watch the video to the end so you can improve your experience in CS2. The first thing we are going to start with is the CS2 in-game settings. Now go to settings and then to video. We will start with the video tab. There are a couple of settings that we should change in order to get the best FPS possible. The first one is resolution. I recommend using your monitor's native resolution, but if your game is still lagging, you can try some resolutions that pro players use. The first one is 1280x960, there is a 17% increase in performance after switching to 1280x960 from 1920x1080. And some pros that use this resolution are simple, device and mozy. Another resolution that is very popular that pro players use is the 1024x768. There is a 31% increase in performance after switching to 1024x768 from 1920 to 1080. And pro players that use this resolution are Kenis and Frozen. Now let's move to the next setting, which is display mode. On this one, make sure that you're using full screen, because when an application is open in full screen mode, Windows grants it full control of the screen's input. Assuming a game is optimized for the system and display, being used, full screen mode has the potential to boost the performance when compared to windowed mode. And for the refresh rate, make sure you're using the highest possible option. Now moving to the next tab, advanced video. This is where the biggest difference in the FPS will come from. Boost player contrast, I would advise you to leave this setting enabled. It takes some performance, but it will make the enemies more easier to see. Wait for vSync, disabled, it doesn't matter which first person shooter game you play, this setting should be disabled because it can lead to input lag and also decreased frame rate. Multi sampling analyzing mode, so this is a setting that you should check out for yourself. I recommend Forex MSII because anything lower than that will make your game look bad and jacked, so check which one of these options will make your game more playable and not in awful quality. Global shadow quality, so for me this setting should be at medium because on low there are almost no shadows, but on high this setting can make your game lag, so the medium is the best option here. Model and texture detail, again here I'll go for the medium because on low the models and the textures are really awful and again on high it can make your game lag, so leave it on medium. Texture filtering, most people recommend anisotrophic forex, but if you feel like your game is lying, make sure to lower it. Shader and particle detail, we'll go for the FPS on those two, so make sure to leave them on low. Ambient occlusion should be turned off as it can make your FPS go down. If you have a HDR monitor, set high dynamic range to performance to get the best FPS possible. Fidelity FX Super Resolution, I recommend to use the option disabled highest quality as anything lower than that just makes the game look choppy and not playable. And finally the Nvidia reflects low latency, by enabling this setting it allows the PC and the display to respond faster to mouse and keyboard inputs, essentially allowing you to target and kill enemies faster and with great precision. So make sure to leave it on enabled or if you have the option enabled plus boost. Now for the Windows settings I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do to boost your FPS in CS2. The first one is to enable game mode. You do that by going to the search bar and type game mode. What game mode does is Windows prioritize your gaming experience by turning things off in the background when you're running a game. The next thing you need to do is to add CS2 to high performance. Type graphic settings in the Windows search bar and then go to browse. I'm going to show where my game is located and yours might be the same, if it's not it's probably in the D folder. After that just double click on CS2.exe, go down and then to options and make sure it's on high performance. Another pretty important thing a lot of players don't pay attention to is the GPU drivers. To update them, type in the Windows search bar GeForce Experience or Radeon Software if I'm not wrong for AMD and check if your drivers are up to date. Also to make your PC boot faster and overall boost his performance, go to your task manager, then go to startup apps and you can right click and disable some of the apps that start with your PC. And finally for the Nvidia control panel settings, I will show them to you and you can copy them, I'm not going to explain much, but I've tried these settings and I know they were good. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and see you in the next video.